Hey, what's up guys? Jerry here, AKA Barnacles, And today we're gonna to be talking about Microsoft Windows 10 and how they removed the H265 codec from the operating system only to try to sell it back to us for a dollar through the Microsoft Store. Now this codec is otherwise known as the HEVC or high efficiency video coding. And it's more often used in modern devices like the iPhone XS Max. Okay, where's my phone? Here it is. Also, before I continue, I got a little rant here about Apple. See my little iPhone here? It's got a giant freaking crack in the back of it because I dropped it. So I figured, oh, that'd probably be the cheap fix, right? No, they want more money to fix the back of the phone than they do fix the front of the phone. What, Apple, what the hell? Other than that and the abysmal USB 2.0 transfer speed with the stock cable, I do like the phone though. Damn it, Joel, I'm trying to make a video here. Stop messaging me. Do not disturb. Now, if you happen to have one of these iPhone XS Maxes or any other piece of video hardware that records using the H.265 codec, these usually include devices that record at 4K 60 frames per second or a 100 megabit per second or better record speed. Because let's be honest, H.264, it's on its way out, buddy. It's also possible that you already have this H.265 codec and just didn't even realize that you did. That's because Microsoft included this originally in the operating system and chose to take it out for reasons that are beyond my comprehension. As a matter of fact, a couple of Microsoft employees I know are actually looking into it to figure out why it was taken out in the first place. Now, when you click on any H.265 file to play it with the, with the default player in Windows 10, which is the Movies and TV app, uh. it pops up and gives you a message saying that you need to go and download this new codec for $1 from the Microsoft Store. Well, you guys know I'm poor people and I'm not gonna spend a dollar. So I did a little bit of research and I found out that the same exact codec is available in the same exact store, it's just not searchable. Now this codec was released for system builders, like Puget Systems, for instance, the people that built my wonderful computer over here that I love so much. Thank you, John Bach. Love you. And it allows those system builders to ensure that when they sell their computers, they still have the same functionality that they did originally when they were loading the operating system. But now anybody that buys a license for Microsoft Windows 10 is gonna have to go out and buy this codec. I know this is very confusing, but so many people have hit this little roadblock and I'm sad to say that many people have reported to me on social media that they actually paid the dollar for the codec. Now this codec not only allows you to decode the H.265 format, but it also allows you to use hardware acceleration to do it. But if you have crappy hardware, it'll try to do it with software also. Another extra add-on that you have to pay for is Dolby Atmos. Now that one I actually understand because they have to pay a fee to Dolby Atmos Laboratories and they never released the codec with Windows 10 in the first place. So I don't have an expectation of having that. However, when I bought my copy of Windows 10, I had the codec originally and damn it, I wanted the codec again. I'm making this video to save all you guys one dollar. I figure if a hundred thousand people watch this video and they save a dollar, that's a hundred thousand dollars I just saved. That is a hundred thousand dollars. I kept away from Microsoft and kept H.265 in your hands. I also find it just a little bit strange that the codec went missing right around the time that the iPhone XS Max dropped, actually a little bit before that, when iPhone started using that codec. It's kind of interesting. And here, let me show you what I mean. Let me fire up screen capture here on my little iOS device. If you guys have never done that before, for. It's pretty easy to do. You just have to go enable screen recording and it'll give you this little button. If you hold down the button, it'll even let you enable the microphone. How cool is that? So we're gonna go ahead and start recording the screen. Two, one, and boom. Now you guys should be able to see the screen on my iPhone. So I'm gonna go ahead and meander on over into settings. Just ignore all those thumbnails. All right. And inside of settings, I am going to search for camera because I'm too lazy to scroll down and find it. Now inside here, you're going to see there are a lot of little things that you can do. One of them is record slow-mo. The other one is record video. Now on record video, it asks you what format you want to use. Now the interesting thing is it doesn't ask you which format you want to use for the front camera or the rear camera. It asks you which one you want to use for the rear camera. And then it just tries to do the best that it can with the front facing camera. Apple thinks we're stupid and I bought their phone. So <laughs> now I believe by default, the phone is set up to record at 4K. 30 frames per second. However, there is an option to up that to 60 frames per second. And when you select that option, you'll notice it says high efficiency after it. That is because it requires the HEVC codec. Because as it turns out, it is a lot easier to encode 4K at 60 frames per second using the next generation of codec versus trying to do with H.264, which as far as I know, you can't even do. But correct me if I'm wrong down below. There's a reason why they selected it. Now you'll notice if I get out of this menu, and I go back to my main screen. Now let's open up the camera app. Now when I open up my camera application, you guys can see right there, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the record button now. So now you guys should see me looking at my camera setup, recording at 60 frames per second. Although if you're watching this video on YouTube, you're only gonna see it at 30 frames per second, sorry. 
that's just the way the cookie crumbles. This is my setup from my perspective. The, the video quality is actually quite nice on this phone, even though they do pretty much heavily optimize it for stuff. But anyways, that's enough talk. Let's go ahead and hit the stop button. We are no longer recording. Now you can even see up there, it says 4K60, like near the top of the screen here. All right, well, before we do anything, we need to copy the files off the iPhone. The best way to do that is usually over Wi-Fi, but because I'm a glutton for punishment, I'm gonna go ahead and connect it through USB. <laughs> you guys wanna see me stick it in the hole? Yeah, you do. And somebody today tell me that nobody cares about multicam stuff anymore. Is that true? Let me know down in the comments. Because I like having a camera that I can just point at stuff vlog style. And having a camera like that that just kind of like looks at me and sits there. I don't know. I think it's cool. Some people might not think it's that cool. All right, let's go ahead and click on the DSIM folder. Okay, now I'm going to tell you guys a little trick along the way here. To get your files off your Apple device, you're going to want to go to the latest numbered folder. That's going to be the one that most likely has your files in it. That's our screen captured file. It's 106 megabytes. Go ahead and drag that over to the desktop. And then we can watch those incredibly sl slow USB 2.0 speeds. Oh, and by the way, my phone's still capturing. See how it's red right there? That means it's still screen capturing everything and hearing everything I said. That's how I'm able to sync the video from that to this video. Fun tip, might do a video on that at some point if you guys are interested in tutorials on how I do all this stuff, let me know. All right, so watch what happens. If I right click on this file, or here, let's just, right now if you click on it, it says it's a QuickTime file. If you hover over it, it says, oh, this is a QuickTime movie. Let me double click it. There it is, guys, there it is. I was not lying, clear as day. You guys have probably seen this message. It says, and it says, to play this video, you need a codec. You need the HEVC video extensions codec for 99 cents, okay? And this isn't just iPhones, this is any device that uses the HEVC codec, which subsequently includes the Netflix app from the Windows Store, which is the only app on a computer that you can watch HDR 4K content with Dolby Atmos off of Netflix. If you try to do it through the web browser, no bueno. If you tried to use it through like a million other things, no bueno, either this or integrated apps like your Samsung TV, et cetera. All right, so what do you say we just get to the point? You can also download VLC, or you can download some of the FFmpeg or whatever video codec packs. Um, there's some problems surrounding that though that I'll cover in an entirely different video. But if you want the native codec, that works with all of the inbox windows apps and actually allows you to use the HDR, which is the high dynamic range. Um, this is the codec you want. So now let me just cut to the chase. Here's how you get it for free guys. But of course, before I tell you, since I don't have any sponsors, I'm gonna have to go ahead and just put you on the spot to buy some merch. So guys, please buy my Windows 10 We're Watching shirt. It's one of the most famous shirts I've ever sold in my entire YouTube career and for a reason because people are pissed off about Windows privacy. And if you're also pissed off about Windows privacy or wanna know other tips and tricks on how to use this awesome operating system, I have a playlist listed down below with tons of videos and content on Windows 10. Full disclosure, I worked at Microsoft as a senior software developer for 15 years of my life. All right, so as you can see, you can sort through this stuff for days and days and days and days and days, and you are not going to find the other codec. It is hidden. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to HTTP, BIT, LY, forward slash. Okay, you ready for this? You ready for this? Free HEVC, enter. Come on, internet. Thank you, oh my God. But you guys are gonna thank me. You guys are gonna thank me, it's worth the wait. And I hope that you share this video and I hope that you hit that subscribe button and you hit that bell notification. And they tell you that unless you get people to ring that damn bell, nobody's gonna come watch you. So please, for the love of me, ring the bell. Because I'm about to save you a dollar. Okay, so notice this codec says HEVC codec extensions from device manufacturer. So it's the exact same text, it's the exact same codec, it's got hardware acceleration, it works with HoloLens, it works with PC. Everything about this is exactly the same as the other codec, you just can't go directly to it. Which I think is BS because they're linking you to one that costs a dollar, but it's published under Microsoft. It's the same exact thing, it's under utilities and tools under Microsoft Corporation. So why the hell isn't that the one they're linking to it's because they want a dollar so now check this out i'm gonna go ahead and click get and that's gonna take me to the store now the store opens up and it says oh okay here it is this is free for everybody let's go ahead and click install now i'm gonna show you another cool tip whenever you try to install something from the microsoft store if you don't have a live account associated it'll say hey will you please you know sign into your live account or will you create an account nowhere here does it say that no i don't want to do that you literally can either create an account or you forgot your username but here's the funny thing is they make it seem like you have to create an account to download stuff from the microsoft store bull 
See that X? Push it. Boom. Gone. Now it's installing. And this works for everything in the store as long as it's not something that costs money. If it costs money, then you do have to sign in off. Okay, checking product files. Okay, it's downloading. It's only 2.6 megabytes. Tiny little download. All right, it just says that the video extension was installed successfully. So we're going to go ahead and close the store down. Now notice, I haven't changed the file. It's still the same file. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go down here and say that I would like to open it with the default, like if it was on your system and you didn't have VLC installed or another player and you double clicked it on a clean install, this is the app that it would use as movies and TV. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna push movies and TV and now you will clearly see it has 60 frames per second. Although if you're watching this video on YouTube, you're only gonna see it at 30 frames per second. Sorry, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. This is my setup from my perspective. The, the video quality is actually quite nice on this phone, even though they do pretty much heavily optimize it for stuff. But anyways, that's enough talk. Let's go ahead and hit the stop. Now guys, just some side information here. I did try using some other codecs. I tried using VLC's built-in codec. I tried installing K-Lite's codec pack. But what I found is those codecs weren't nearly as hardware accelerated as the codec that actually comes. You'd get micro stutter, you'd get a little bit of this rolling shutter thing going on. Um, it was an unpleasant watching experience, especially if it was anything over 30 frames per second. However, I noticed it is liquid smooth, and I also noticed quite a contrast bump. I don't know if that has to do with the HDR mode, because my screens aren't HDR, but for some reason Windows still does some HDR-ish things. But I found that it looked better with this codec in the movie and TV's app, which I hate modern apps, but in this case, in my movie theater downstairs, it looks fantastic. So let's right click on that now, go to open a movie maker again or media player, and you guys there it is. Me looking at my camera setup, recording at 60 frames per There second. it is, guys. Although if you're watching this video on YouTube, you're only gonna see it at 30 frames per second. Sorry, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. This is my setup from my perspective. The, the video quality is- All Right, and if I open up my task manager, you'll notice the GPU is being heavily utilized. Look, 66% of one, and up to 22% of my other GPU are being utilized to do the decoding. But the nice thing about this codec is that it's actually utilizing the hardware. We can actually play it in the Photos app too. So all three of the inbox Windows 10 applications all work with H.265 once you get this codec. So if you know anybody that actually spent a dollar to buy this codec, please laugh at them and give them the bit.ly link, link them to my video, get them the codec for free. It's just not worth paying a dollar for. And like I said, if hundreds of thousands of people watch this video and every single one of them saves a buck, that's a few hundred thousand dollars that Microsoft didn't get. Buy my shirt. Guys, patreon.com forward slash Barnacles. You get to see all the behind the scenes videos. I have over a hundred of them called Jerry and the Raw. So it's just, it's just better to kind of put that over there and keep the technical stuff here. And last but not least, if you guys have any cool ideas for videos that you'd like to see me make, head on over to Twitter and tweet me at Barnacles. That is the network I am by far the most active on. Also my wife, who's also my boss and uh, media manager. Um, she has her own account over there, Miss Barnacles. You should follow her too, she's a hoot. Some even say she's funnier than I am. Honestly guys, it's great to be back to YouTube. This is my third video I've made in a week. If you haven't seen those other videos that I've made, it's probably because you didn't ring the bell. Also guys, make sure you expand that video description down below. It has lots of links to not only my social media, but also to other videos and playlists uh, concerning Windows 10 content and other technology-based videos maybe some not so technology based videos. Now share this video everywhere and save your friends a dollar. But more importantly, keep it away from Microsoft. They've got enough of our money.